So hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope that wherever you're at, you're having an awesome day. I'm back here with uh, more Transformers. This time, as you can see, it's MP44S from the Masterpiece line. This is pretty much Optimus Prime um, based on the MP44 mold, Masterpiece style. I did get this from uh, Hasbro Pulse. Had been, I had it on pre-order for quite a while. It's getting a bit nervous if this would actually came in, but hey, it ended up shipping out. Of course, you do get this uh, standard black shipper, and inside of here, you do get the actual Japanese, um, the awesome artwork here. So, so you guys can see Transformers Masterpiece. They've got this uh, cool uh, 40th anniversary logo here. And then, of course, you got Optimus in his vehicle mode and in the... Um, his robot mode and this artwork here is a bit raised so i don't know if it's like stamped or whatever but it looks really nice in that glossy um color as you can see mp44s autobots commander optimus prime so really cool we got here on the side the vehicle mode and on the back of course like a lot of the masterpiece figures you got the text in the uh, original language there you got Optimus here, I guess this is the, the toy version that we're getting here, and this is the previous uh, Megatron, which I don't have, completely missed that one. But here they show you the vehicle mode, the different uh, heads that you can have. Of course, this Energon Axe, you got him here in a bit of a, um action pose, and then here they compare him to what this is supposed to sort of represent, right, is the actual, uh, the original toy. You got him here with the Matrix, and here they go over the accessories of what's all included in here so we'll open this up and inside looks like you got a couple of nice things here so as i said alternate head here you've got the matrix you got you know that fire effect you've got of course his rifle or gun you gotta have the energy axe and of course you got optimus himself looks like you also get a adapter for a a flight stand whatever that may be of course inside you do get your instructions and usually for masterpiece figures i always like to review the instructions because uh sometimes the masterpiece toys are very intricate in their transformations but inside of here you get the actual these little cards come with all of these so this is mp44s transformers masterpiece optimus prime and they go over all his stats Vehicle mode, robot mode. So these are really cool if you like collecting these. You also get a sticker sheet. Uh, these unfortunately are not printed pieces on the on the figure, but they're actual stickers, which is a bit of a bummer. I wish they would have actually printed these on the figure, considering they were going for that toy look. It would have been nice to have these all printed, but they're stickers and you have to apply them. All these all gray ones are for the waste piece because on this toy they're all yellow for some reason. So there's that. And then of course you get your giant instruction booklet. Uh, this goes over, you know, the accessories, how to put them on, how to take the head off, how to transform it, etc. They're pretty thorough. So again, I would recommend that you do uh, follow them. But as you could see, Optimus here comes in his vehicle mode. Oh yeah, and the front here, as I said, kind of shows you uh, you know, the different views, front view, side view, top view, rear view, of the vehicle mode. You got him here in his robot mode and all the different views. And again, it goes over all the different accessories and everything that's there. All right, guys. So out of the box here, we get Optimus in his vehicle mode. But as you could see, I have all the accessories that he comes with uh, pretty laid out. This clear piece is an adapter for the uh, robot mode to attach to uh, a flight stand, specifically the flight stands that came with a couple of other masterpiece figures. So they do go over this in the instructions, uh, but it is something that fits in in the robot mode there. So that's a clear piece. We've got his ion blaster or rifle, whatever you want to call it, in black plastic. This is pretty much the exact same rifle that came with mp44 but it's really nicely sculpted and an awesome size and you do still get that folding uh thing here 
that you do. So again, you're able to do that with this one as well. So we put that aside. We've got the awesome Energon Axe that I think at this point every Optimus Prime pretty much comes with just about. We got a bit of a hand that this is the adapter to go into the hand. But again, it's nice, clear uh, orange plastic there. You got the fire effect here. You get one of them. And this can go attached uh, to the gun here. And it definitely does what it's supposed to do. Over here, we have an alternate head. And this is the head, the more rounded look, I guess. He had in a cartoon at one point. The eyes are color blue. I believe the other head has yellow eyes. But in this case, this head uh, is really well done, I will say. What I do like about this is that when I got my original MP44, these uh, little antennas, these fins on it, I had to sort of play with them to get them to stand up. In this case, these out of the box look absolutely mint. And the color is this deep blue, so it's done really nice. Of course, you see the more rounded off features on the um, the faceplate specifically and the eyes and the nose. So it's really cool that they included this extra head and lastly the other accessory that you do get is this matrix of uh leadership here i don't think this opens so i'm not going to force it open but this uh i think is die cast it feels really nice in hand i will say i wonder if anyone will take this and wear it like a charm but it, it does feel good in hand i believe this is die cast but again you've got the nice metal handles the uh, blue there on the inside, and you've got the orange all nice and glistening. This is a really nice piece overall. Really well done. I really like this. And then, of course, you've got the main uh, the main guy here, the main course, which is the MP44S, um, as I'm going to call it, or I guess this is the toy color version. Right off the bat, uh, not even looking at the original MP44, the colors in this one are a bit uh, deeper and darker, so the blue is definitely much, much darker. And the red, I would say, is a little similar, just a tad darker, I would say. And of course, you got the, the strut going on here, which MP44 in vehicle mode did not have. This actually looks a lot more like the MP10 uh, truck mode. Uh, but in vehicle mode, uh, I really do like, oh, of course, it's Optimus. So side profile looks really nice, a front. Again, looks really cool. This is all, uh, I guess, chromed plastic. And yeah, that's really cool. You got the gas tanks here. Of course, the awesome movable wheels. This is what the bottom sort of looks like there. You could see some of the uh, front grill of the robot mode. And uh, back here, it does look a little messy, I'll be honest with you. So that's what that looks like here. Um, MP44 came with an actual hole. The whole trailer this one doesn't um, but that's pretty much what this whole section looks like he does feel great in hand which i love i, I like the weighty feely feeling of a uh, transformer masterpiece figures and this is no exception on my end looks really cool uh, to get us started here starting on the right uh we have uh the mp44 this is the more cartoon or animation accurate look then there in the middle we have um mp44s which is the topic of this video and over here on the far on the far left is the old favorite mp10 um having these three right there side by side kind of uh, gives me a better idea right it seems like mp44s is a bit of a compromise right if you like the complicated i guess uh more tune accurate robot mode or, or uh of mp44 with some of the toy like uh details of mp10 here this is kind of what you're getting with uh mp 44s here now there are some slight differences the red on all on the cabs are slightly uh different hues uh for example on mp44 here the red is slightly darker and deeper you'll also see here the blues for example on mp44 here on the right versus mp44s are different the s uh, version here the blue seems to be a 
deeper uh like almost purple like hue on the blue whereas if you look at something like mp uh 10 here mp 10 uh blue uh is a bit more brighter uh, which I actually prefer uh, this blue uh, looking at them uh, closely. If you weren't a fan of MP10's complicated transformation and therefore you get something like this on the truck mode, which has got a couple of gaps and it really doesn't look that clean, uh, that won't be a change with MP44S. Again, it's the exact same mold. So you still get all the panelly and, and everything, which I think for me, M MP10 has a, a bit of an advantage. But again, uh, this is not uh, cartoon accurate, it's more to toy accurate. So the transformation is not as complicated as these two. Um, other than that, as you could see here, there are some slight differences and, and similarities, right? Um, you see, you get crumb bumpers uh, on all three. So, uh, you know, you still get the uh, silver stripe on both MP10 and the MP44S, but not on good old MP44 here. Uh, the windows are all uh, slightly different colors, right? You got the blue here, but you got the dark, darker windows. Uh, this guy, MP10, you, you get more of a differentiation or you know a little more color as far as the windshield wipers which you don't get on these two you get the additional yellow uh, lights which again are not are not on mp44s mp44 does have some kind of orange uh, details there on the lights i don't know if you see that you see some differences in the bumpers here as well mp44s and 44 both have pretty much the exact same bumper uh, whereas mp10 here just has the standard uh, black lights uh, but other than that I um, just want to show you guys so you guys can see the similarities or differences these three look pretty cool together so I think overall just looking at the three of them here I will say is again if you wanted a um, mp44 complicated mode truck mode that had some of the toy like features that mp10 did or, or paint apps then uh, I'm thinking so far that's what MP44 is. Alrighty, so uh, here we are with uh, MP44S in robot mode. I will say if you are familiar with MP44 and you did not like that transformation, this will not change your mind because it's the exact same figure. Uh, the transformation is exactly the same. So it's still the same uh, crazy panel-y, uh, kind of brilliant sometimes, but also kind of perhaps needlessly uh overcomplicated uh to get you this awesome figure so again if you weren't a huge fan of that transformation this will not change your mind uh what you do get is this awesome uh looking figure there in the i guess to more toy uh accurate colors um just to get a, a couple of the i guess minuses out of the way unfortunately and this is very similar in um with uh mp44 is the the head here the um little fins or the little uh ears i'm going to call them here unfortunately for from having been in the uh car mode uh part of the transformation involves storing the head in the uh, in the chest so these little fins or ears here were a little bent and you can still see at least this left one is a little so you have to mess around with them to get them uh, uh you know a little more like uh straight up and down so that was also the same thing with mp44 is that the head had the antennas were a little um bent in place for you know based on that so that's one thing the other thing that uh I guess would be a bit of a minus in my book is the fact that, um, you know, I guess they were going for the more toy accurate look. Um, so I wish they would have went with a lot of the toy details actually printed on the figure. Um, what they do, as I, I showed this earlier, is they do give you a sticker sheet. So that is meant to emulate, I guess, the uh, toy like uh, aspects of this figure. And I really wish they would have given us more printed or tampos like where they're supposed to be right like on the feet um on the legs and the other auto button insignia in the arm and, and what have you and even here um you know they do give you these stickers that are uh, or all uh, gray and silver to cover up this yellow um rather unfortunate especially for the price that you're paying i really wish they would have 
had that all printed on the figure. Just just go for it. Go for the whole the full look there. Um, some uh, pluses in my book is as I was transforming this guy, I did notice that the joints, especially around the waist and the legs, are a lot tighter than my M than my MP44 was when I got it. Um, this guy right out of the box, uh, it's not as uh, wobbly as my MP44, so that is a welcome change. Uh, same thing here on the legs. Uh, my original MP44, uh, which I will show you in a second, actually in robot mode, when you pick him up, his legs feel very dangly. In this case, MP44S actually feels pretty uh, solid there, so that that's nice. The other uh, change that they did make is in regards to the knees. If you had MP44, then um, there were some issues uh, with the knees back here where there was uh, a bit of an extra piece uh, here where I'm pointing out with the laser effect, a bit of an extra plastic piece on MP44 that if you didn't bend in the knees correctly when you were doing this, uh, the little plastic piece would pretty much snap and uh, the knees would still work, but you, I, I think you still, you would lose the ratcheting. Um, this one doesn't have that, uh, I guess, issue because they essentially got rid of that little piece. So I guess that feature is no longer an issue with this because they essentially removed it from, ball, uh, from both uh, back of the knees. Uh, the other thing I guess that's uh, a bit of a minus in my book is you still have this uh, backpack here um, and the original MP44 had this because I believe he well he had a voice uh, feature right in, in Japanese for Convoy or for Optimus Prime um, this one does not um, again you know it would have been nice if you're getting ri rid of the voice feature, then perhaps find a better way to get rid of this whole backpack. It doesn't look terrible, um, but uh, again, it does add a bit of heft there to, to the back of OP, and I really wish they would have found a way to clean that up, considering they don't have to deal with like a, a batteries or a little voice box, etc. Um, so, I mean, that that I would say is it for the plus or minuses in my book. Again, if you have MP44, this is the exact same figure just with the colors. And I will say the colors are really nice, particularly the um, gray uh, or silver that they use here. It's got some nice flake to it. It's really well done uh, around here on the, the waist area and the, the legs. It's, um, you know, looks really nice. It actually helps to accentuate uh, the figure a little better than it did on MP44. Granted, I know this is, again, more toy-like and MP44 was more cartoon-like, but um, the colors are overall are really nice. I do tend to uh, think perhaps this blue is a little darker than it should be, but again, it doesn't it doesn't detract from the, from the figure itself. Uh, the head looks really nice. Again, it's rather unfortunate though because of the, the transformation, these, this soft plastic antennas or ears or whatever you want to call them did get warped a bit but you do get a an alternate head here that does have straighter antennas so i may end up going uh with this uh head here so we will see uh but you get also this the exact same articulation if you had a mp44 this s version has pretty much the exact same artic articulation that figure had as i said earlier if anything the joints do feel a little uh tighter in my copy anyway than they initially did on mp44 uh, when i got that figure out of the box so you can put this guy in some pretty cool poses uh, again he can pretty much kick up uh, much you don't have to worry about the issue with the knees or breaking anything because they took that away so now you know no issues there and as i said the legs on mine at least uh the joint here is nice and stiff it's got some good resistance not you know you're able to move it without much force uh but it does feel pretty sturdy uh the the waist here you can rotate it but you have to uh right here it feels not as loose as MP44, so that's a plus in my book. He does have the ab crunch, but you do have to undo the the waist here. 
uh, and he can pretty much look down and he can get further down than that you just have to undo this part here and sort of pull that out and you just have to snap that back in place so um, I do feel that the articulation or at least the way it holds in the mp44s version is a little better than um, the original mp44 uh, but other than that you know if you have this figure this is pretty much the exact same mp44 with just different color uh, details again the transformation is still just as crazy uh, still just as uh, inventive but also a bit annoying and crazy um, but you know I, I do have a fondness for this look uh, I think if you want the mp44 robot look or even the the, the truck mode look uh, with some of the sort of like toy like colors then um, I think this definitely sort of fits uh, that description or, or, or that gap in my collection anyway um as far as what this guy looks like next to other uh robots uh why not let's put him here next to the og the the original uh, anyway mp44 in my book um obviously i tend to prefer this one a little better because it's more animation accurate but i do appreciate that they've done a great job with the colors I think on this one as I mentioned earlier one of the things that mp44s does better is he's a bit uh, more uh, better you see this guy his legs are all shaky and wobbly not not an issue with mp44s and also you'll see his waist there everything is nice and put in and, and clamped into place on this guy but still um, just he my my copy was always just a bit um, wobbly there uh, the other thing i mentioned earlier with the knees on this guy is this whole little mechanism or, or lack of anyway mp44 had i'm just trying to get that focused uh had this little plastic piece here that i'm pointing at that mp44s does not so you have to make sure that when you bend his knees this little plastic piece actually is able to go into the slot here on the white part uh, so that you don't break um, anything so again that that's one thing that you know I, I do appreciate they've made that change on mp44s so you don't have to worry about um, breakage or anything uh, but you can see the color differences and similarities right like I said the white on this one more cartoon accurate versus the silver there uh, that's supposed to be I guess more toy accurate you don't have the silver or the gray paint around the uh, biceps or arms here whereas you do on mp44s um, again the shades of blue are much deeper and almost uh, to a closer to a purple hue than mp44 here which is a more a uh, bit of a lighter blue to emulate that cartoon uh, color um, this guy you know I mentioned earlier he does come with uh, weapons so you do get his uh, gun here and his rifle rather and his energon axe which you can put you know he can hold in his hands so you got you got the extra head as i showed earlier you got this fire effect and you do get this awesome um die cast uh, matrix which can fit uh, inside of uh his chest cavity here just gotta open this here and let's see if we can get this in there there we go and then you would proceed to put the uh the matrix in there and then he looks something like that and same thing with mp44 right he also had um that ability there so that's something you can do um so just want to show them both there together so you guys can get a good idea of what these two look like next to each other um and then let me bring other uh, ones for comparison here so um you know what let's keep mp44 here because i did want to bring up um another one here so you guys could see what these three look like together and here is the mp10 mold which at one point for me was the you know that was my go-to optimus prime and and you know i know it's beloved by a lot of folks and myself included right um just again wanted to show there so you guys can see the differences or or similarities there on on this guy um i definitely think mp10 has a, the best head um 
these don't look bad but just uh no, no issues with the antennas there but you guys can see again you know what all the different time and engineering does to a figure and what you know the different aspects of what they were going for there with mp10 mp44s and then the original mp44 there um and you know what we'll move these two out of the way so those were two masterpiece figures um you know here are two smaller optimus primes um this is on the left here is the earthrise mold and over here is the uh siege mold in some animation colors and again you know whole different lines so they can't really compare a whole different price point but just wanted to show you guys there even like you know you have more siege animation or in this case it's supposed to emulate g1 so they went with the white uh color sort of like very similar to mp44 where whereas earthrise here has more of the gray color that kind of follows mp44 as there but again you guys can see them just want to show them there for um so you guys can see the comparison and then the other one is i do have uh the masterpiece megatron here and again very uh similar in, in size i think this this could still work granted that megatron obviously is more animation accurate it is meant to go more hand in hand with mp44 rather than the s version here but again i think if you uh, don't have mp44 and you want to get this one to, to keep in your collection or pair up here with uh, megatron that uh, i think that could definitely work so we'll move megatron out of the way here and then the last one that i want to do and hopefully i can get him in frame is this is this was my first masterpiece optimus prime i i guess this is based on the mp01 uh mold um and yeah he he's a, a bit of a beast he's pretty big which is awesome he's also very hefty so that was one of the uh, i guess not complain but in my book i think uh i know with cost and everything they've kind of stepped away from doing a lot of die cast on the new masterpiece figures uh, and this one has like a ton it, it's a bit of a beast but so i love it for that but again just want to show it because there are a lot of differences between uh, or similarities rather uh, between what you get here uh, with this right the color scheme is pretty similar um but then you're missing little things like you know this guy's got almost these fully sculpted lights in orange and these are just red plastic nubs um so this one this figure here is still pretty awesome well, still as pretty we big. wrap up here uh, as you guys can see i did manage to go ahead and uh put put on most of the stickers on this guy i did put them on the forearms there is also a little red sticker that goes down here that was pretty hard to put and also the ones on the um the knees here and on the uh the bottom of the feet so just want to put those on to further uh you know have that difference between him and the mp44 that i'm going to be explaining him next to i also switched out his head um gives you a bit more of a rounder look and i added the additional uh, autobot symbol they give you they actually gave you two of these uh, uh stickers uh one for the left and the right but the one on the right's already printed so it kind of didn't make sense to just go ahead and put another sticker on top of that who knows why they did that but uh you know again this, this is how I'm going to be, be uh, displaying this guy. Again, if you were a fan of MP44, uh, this is more of that. Just uh, some, you know, co uh, color differences, some additional stickers. Um, for me, this was definitely worth it. I just like to have uh, all different versions of Optimus Prime toys and, and figures. But uh, I think if you're happy with MP44... Uh, I don't know if you need this. There's also plenty of other third-party alternatives that are also pretty good. Um, I think in this case, as I said, there are a bit of a couple of letdowns with the stickers that haven't been printed parts. I think that's something that they could have easily, uh, I think in my book, added. Uh, there are some pluses to it, as I said, is no knee issues with this guy because they took out that one feature. Um, and overall the joints especially around the waist and the legs on my copy are pretty pretty tight um but 
that's it for me guys i just want to say thank you so much if you hung out um with me till the end and mp44 here mp44s rather uh, let me know you know are you are you planning on getting this guy do you have this guy you're happy with it um you know be interested to hear what the overall feelings is on this guy but anyway that is it for me enjoy the rest of your day and i will catch you in the next video take care